And Frank gives them bring the bring it command. And it bring is it, game baby. on as we watch Caleb Hurt take down Robert Booker just moments ago. We've got Randall Garrison still working on Todd Gammon. He up 19-14. And Nick Utley falls to Isaac Hurt while T.J. Miller takes down the former king, Gary Ferguson. So right now we are underway. These guys both holding on to those early goose eggs. And now one of them looking to step out here in the first frame of the first round. Yeah, here we go. We got the gammon who's been making a name for himself the last couple of years, and we do have a former world champion in Mr. Wingham. Yes, we do. Season 16. Season 16, Season 16. seniors 16. champion. Seniors world champion. All right, so these guys watch, but they update their stats so that they can go back into the score holio scoring system and, uh, you know, just kind of measure their, uh, their points per round and different elements of their game. It's always a uh, – Great opportunity to get in there and find out just exactly how your game is progressing. Wingham holds on to that first bag out of the higher seed lane, coming in at the number two seed. And again, Matt Gammon holding on to the number 15 seed. So can a 15 take down a two? A 16 could not take down a one. Yeah. So we shall see who will make it through to the quarterfinal round. Those will be best two of three, whereas these early rounds are all one and done. Uh oh, and he, Matt gives up two right there. I thought he got a right round that right there. All right, and also don't forget, you can check either one of the streams that we've got rolling here, the uh, CBC Corn Slinger Bag Company rolling off of court number one. They've got Chip Brown and Gary Bear Paul headed that way. That'll be a good one to check out as well. So you can flip back and forth and keep an eye on things here on the ACO Digital Network. Proud to bring you all the action throughout the course of the weekend. Some great stuff earlier today. Isaac Hurt takes the Juniors Championship, I think his fifth Juniors Championship of the season so far. Maddie McBride double dips her opponent earlier, and she takes the Women's Championship. And then right here on center court, you saw Bob Heil. He got a little <laughs> bit of a, uh, maybe a little bit of a pucker there from Johnny Thomas, but he was able to pull it out. And I think that final was 21 to nine, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, nice. good stuff there. A couple of double dips and then a, a straight up victory. And uh, we're going to leave it at 2 nothing right now, but update those stats as Matt Gammon trundles back down to grab his weaponry. He's throwing, uh, what's he throwing? He's, He's throwing, throwing those blueprint, blueprint game, game ons. ons and yeah. uh, the Lucky's nuclear coming out of the right hand and pulling yeah. just a little bit left for Alan Wingham. Right there, Alan throws uh, out of fat guys with a PH. You know that means they're cool. Oh, yeah, heck yeah. Alan, he, I'll tell you what, he's, he's really came on the last few months. I mean, that, you didn't see his name around a whole lot after it, but, but the last few months he picked it up. He really has he's been throwing up, really well. Picked up his game, and I think yeah. I want to say that uh, Matt and Todd Gammon both uh, throw out a seven-mile pike cornhole, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, sir. That would make perfect sense. Um, so the uh, score remains 2 nothing as they gather – their bags back up. This one could go for a minute here. And again, we're one and done. So uh, Chip Brown and Gary Bearpaw moving over to court number one, which you can check out right now. They're just getting their final down and backs in and getting underway. T.J. Miller, as mentioned before, took down Gary Ferguson. Randall Garrison took down Todd Gammon. And Isaac Hurt took down Nick Utley. So we will move on to a uh, match of Caleb Hurt and T.J. Miller here coming up. We still have Tyler Amos and Doug Parker. Yeah, that, what a matchup that's, that's going to be. a beauty. And then Craig Heck Urban yeah. against T-Bone Dawson. That'll be an interesting game of pace right absolutely. there. Absolutely, absolutely. Interesting game of pace. I have a Velvet Bledsoe and my friend Trey Howard out at home all tuning right. in to watch us tonight. Finn? Glad, uh, glad to have you all aboard yes, and sir. welcome to center court. Handful of uh, regular viewers who are checking us out. Feel free to share the broadcast and – Invite anybody you like along for the ride. It's going to be a fun night. We've got good stuff coming in. The question becomes, who is going to change the name on the winner's checks after three pro series? The last name has been hurt on all Man, three I'll of them. i tell you, when, when they have two chances, it's, it's going to be hard the way they throw. Yeah, the law of averages <laughs> says that eventually somebody's going to be able to do it. Allen pulls one a little bit to the left and leaves that one for Matt. He takes it up the middle, another wash. 
they tater and they work their way down. So the interesting thing is, will we be done with this match before they get through all the other quarterfinals I don't except know. ours? I don't know. This was not moving at a very fast pace. But how about Matt Gammon right there? What we saw was Lane Cruz chase, 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 chase. Yeah. Today, Matt Gammon, he chased a couple times, but when he had a chance to, to get that score to zero, he took just it. went straight in. He took it, yep. Yeah. So a little, little uh, different strategy the older you get, I guess. Well, I think it's no different than life, man. You spend your young life aggressive going out to get everything you can, take all kinds of chances, and as you get older, you start to protect all those things that you gathered down, up. slow it down, man. Absolutely. Trey Howard checking out what's up, guys. We're up, man. That's what we're doing. We're going to yeah. be up as late as it takes, too, to get through this pro series. These guys update the score, and it's exactly the same. How about Trey? He's one of, he's one of the newer players in our area. Headed to Knoxville here in a couple That's weeks a for his major. Also. Yeah, absolutely. Knoxville, what a great city right there in the shadow of the big golden, uh, the golden ball there from the World's Fair years ago. I, I like going there, to be honest with you. That's a great city. It's, it's, it's very much like this set. I mean, you've got that Market Square up there, that uh, Marketplace strip is really cool, and then you've got the Convention Center and the hotels all nice. down around there. Of course, the University of Tennessee. I know you're not a I was just to say, if you didn't have to put up with all that damn orange, you would be. <laughs> Uh huh. Well, I I can almost guarantee you, if since we don't have that one on the pro series schedule, you would not volunteer. There you go. go to <laughs> perfect. <one>. Perfect. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Alan pulls a three bagger. He's he's got three bags setting up left, and uh, Matt has an opportunity to get around oh, them. Oh, he, yeah, he drops he, one in and leaves one high, and I think that's gonna yeah four spot for that's Matt. Gonna, yeah, that's gonna put him back up two <laughs> two on yeah. <laughs> Well, I was going to say, back up on top. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. He wasn't on top, yeah. so he can't be back on top. So Takes his team. first lead. How about yeah, that? We'll call that? it that. Take that first bag back and double up on on Allen, who has uh, been known from my understanding. And maybe uh, some others can uh, can speak to this. But uh, we have a lot of people in this organization that can work as stunt doubles for one another. I think he and Charlie Case. Oh, yeah, they look just alike, man. Do each other stunts. So I've said hello to the wrong one a number of times from man, the back. I thought that was Alan. <laughs> uh, all right, so. And they're from the same area yeah, pretty much, pretty too. Pretty crazy, and he's throwing, and he's throwing Charlie's back. Oh, too. and that's another four uh, That's for another point. I'll tell you something. He overcompensated and pushed two to the right because he pulled everything to the left this time, and then he overcompensated for the right to go back to the left and stuck it up top. That bag just slid right over the yeah, hole is what it looked it like, did it not? Like plexiglass yeah. on top of it. All right, so now uh, Matt Gammon, having started out in a 2 nothing deficit, jumps up on top, eight on two. Takes that first bag, puts it right where he wants it. Forcing Allen to go ahead and uh, try to find that middle. And man, he got his, a little kicker right there off of Allen's bag, but Allen goes right with him over there. Yeah, so he, he lays that block, and, and that's a, a good cleanup, and he kind of had to do that right there, and he gave certainly that right-hand real estate back to Allen, and they're going to clean that up as well. But I wonder about that bag that Allen threw where he kind of pinched it up there. Yeah, and see, he leaves yeah. it sit. He pinched it up there. I almost wonder if he would have been better cleaning it up. Right, I think that was just a miss. Right away, I think he missed. Yeah, I think it was, it was okay. just a miss. Because uh, right, I wondered if he did, uh, if he did that on on purpose. Uh, Brett asking, will the co-ed final be on center court? If it is not on center court, we will work to have it on court one. So you will have the uh, corn slinger call on that one from Dylan Ledbetter and his team. So we've got two courts covered for you today to make sure you see as many of the games as you can that you want to see. We've had so many calls to people. Oh, well, this is, I can see on score, Holyo, this match is going on. Well, once a match is started, we can't very well yeah. stop and start. But if we do have a second broadcast team ready to roll, which we do, and we will have uh, at least one team at every major, and we may double up on some like Cincinnati, Knoxville, and a handful of others. So we'll be able to bring you more games and you can flip back and forth. So feel free to throw that up there on the big screen, whether you're in the bar or maybe at your house. Grab a cold one, spin a bag, practice spinning that bag on a fingertip like a junior, and uh, enjoy the rest of the evening with us. You're welcome, I, I bet you my buddy Tim uh, Tim Hill over there in Olive Branch, Mississippi, has got it sitting on the back patio, got his little heater going. Got it up on yeah, the big screen. Yeah, absolutely got it up on his screen. All right, now, where I'm from, got a little heater going means something different. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, 10 on 2, Matt Gammon. 
Uh, expands his lead, holds tight to that first bag and has been using it effectively. Allen seems to have found the middle again here. Yeah, he as, got, uh, got off a couple rounds and he's already, looks like he's settled back in after he's down 10 to two. Yep. All right, he's able to drop nice. that in. They finish with uh, all eight bags underneath. Randall Garrison is gonna be taking on Caleb Hurt or Isaac Hurt in the next quarterfinal. So we could have a Hurt Hurt semifinal happening a little bit later on. So it'll be Caleb versus TJ Miller. The winner of that will take on the winner of Randall Garrison and Isaac Hurt. Right now we're looking to find a winner on Alan Wingham and Matt Gammon. And boy, I tell you what, Gary Bearpaw jumped out all yeah. over. Uh, Chip Brown here in an 11 to two, it looks like. And then we've got Tyler Amos and Doug Parker, Parker getting ready to gear up. And then Craig Irvin, a reigning king in the T-bone that we all know and love, T-bone Dawson. Craig's already up two to nothing. You'd think a T-Bone's pace might slow Craig down a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Very uh -oh. deliberate. Gammon may pick up another round of four right there. Oh, well, that's a uh, a saving grace bag right there at the end from Alan Wingham. And he'll blame me because I made him get on local TV a little while ago. Yeah. Yeah, we put him on the ABC and the CW stations here a little, and he kept going, I really don't want to do this. I go, Alan, you do. You do want to do this. He goes, all right, I'll do it. Now he's going to blame me. It's all your fault, man. Took his focus away. Mm -hmm. Big TV star now. He doesn't have time for this petty cornhole nonsense. I'll tell you one thing. Matt Gammon, he, you know, I sit and make my picks every week, you know, and I, I, I study that roll call, study that roll call, mm -hmm. and I see Matt Gammon's name every time I see it, and it just flies under the radar, mm -hmm. though, and I don't oh, pick him. Oh, up and over. Oh, oh nice shot. Backside. Air mail is nicely done. And nice nice cleanup, yeah. Very nice. So that's going to be a, a two spot there for Allen. But what I was saying, you know, I, I, I see his name. And and just kinda, I, don't, yeah. I just kind of slide. Uh -huh. You know, he's not flashy. He's not, but but he's there all the time. Always. And he's that good. He's good enough to beat any player in this building. He could win this whole major yes, this he weekend. Could. You yes, know? he could. Now all he has to do is prove you right. And that's no slight of Matt Gammon either. It's, not at all. You know, I'm just. Sometimes it's those yeah. guys that are coming in. They're the silent assassins that you hear referred to so often. And uh, very quietly, uh, these two have both. Put a bag off to the right that yeah. neither one of them is crazy about. Allen still can pick that one up if he wants to. You're going to come in a little bit of pace on that not, one. Oh, not enough to, up. Not enough to get it as Matt going to sneak oh, around, and he does. Oh, nice very, bag. Very nicely done. So 14-4 to four remains. Oh, it goes to 16-4. I thought there was a That's second one sitting up That's such a delicate there. shot, yeah, and it he really just made was. it look easy. Yeah, it really was. And that's the other thing. We saw earlier we had uh, an opportunity to run some games with some of our pros paired up with some local yeah. city officials and, you know, backyard players and, and guys that play at the tailgate, and they just have a good time. They're throwing a vertical bag or overhand or whatever. But I asked them all individually. I said, now you get out and you see your friends that are pretty good, but now you see these jerseys standing shoulder to shoulder. Now you get a sense of what's going on. And they're like, it's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah it, it really is. is unbelievable. You come out, the average backyard player come out here and – Get a, uh, get ready to play and have to play one of these guys. You know, it takes some, takes some work, some time. Nice shot mm, by Allen to pick up done. too. How about that? The airline. Yeah. Now, was that intentional? We haven't seen him throw. Uh, yeah, he, he, Matt leaves and puts him on Temptation Island, and he succeeded. All right. Very Sixteen nice. to six now is the uh, updated score. Yeah, for those who are, uh, you know, maybe you, you fancy yourself a good player, you're more than welcome to come out and get involved in these walk-up tournaments that we have when we come into town, a chance for you to bring your partner out and see exactly what you can do on one of these yeah. bring-your-own-partner blind draws Ooh. or maybe a, the Hampton Farms big blind draw that starts around 6 o'clock here. It should be getting fired up any minute. Now, Matt, let that bag hit the front of the board, and that yeah. might bother me. I was just fixing yeah. to say, that yeah. is a bothersome bag. And, oh, oh. <laughs> He didn't bother Allen, Allen then. How does Allen do? He bounces it off that bag and off the board. What a nice air man. And, and that's a smart right move. Yeah. Smart move by Matt right there. He tried to go over it and slide in the first one. Yep. Caught his bag, went off. And that bag, he, that, that is a bothersome bag. Yep. Just a bothersome bag. Well, and it's funny. As soon as you said that, Allen hits it. Yeah. And it's enough to bounce it off the back of the board. Sure. You wouldn't have thought. Now, what did he have? Slick sided. What? Why did it take off like that when it hit? <laughs> it just bounces on. It's the way they, they the way these bags. It's the way the bags bounce. Yeah. All right. So he's gonna 
pull it just a little bit to the left is going to get stacked up there by Matt Gammon. And they're going to build a little bit of a, a nice blocker there by Matt. Pile there. He's going to come in hard and try to scooch that one that it's at the uh, 8 o'clock position back toward and the middle. And this is the one that puts you in a pickle. Do you block, try to push through it? Oh, look at that. Yeah, he, he bunched him up. So Al's going to go, oh, and he Up. Oh, and he gets a couple <laughs> of them to drop there, but it's still a. It's even, even. Both of them have one underneath, I believe. Uh, it looks like. Or does. Matt has three sitting up high. Yeah. It looks like. He didn't like what he looked at uh -oh. anyway. He made some kind of face. No, he did not. But he's got quite a bit of room. He's got 75% of the hole available to yeah. him. Right there, if he wants to go up and over, and well, he no, he also. I don't think there's enough of Allen's bag there for him to pull. He's going to go push hard, try to get it to go. Everything stands up straight, and he leaves three sitting up on top. Yeah. So yeah. it's ten on uh, ten six. On, yeah, I think so. Four so points. that'll be a four spot there. Yeah. So Allen eight on to, six, I believe. Was it eight on six? Yeah. Yeah, yep. he picks up two. All right, so Allen. Closes the gap just a little bit. Again, uh, Allen comes in with a 140, having thrown a 140 out of a possible 156 yeah, had a in good, the frame good game round. earlier today. He was surprised. I asked him about that. So what about that 140? He goes, yo, what about that 140? He goes, I never even made it past that, <laughs> even to the qualifier before, and I throw a 140. I said, yeah, yeah the two seed. Yeah, he comes in at the Crazy. two seed. When you get to this 16 players that we have in this tournament, I don't think seeding means a whole lot. Mm, no. <laughs> Gary Bear Paul holds uh, holds on to his lead and takes down Chip Brown. Matt can just lay up here for two points. Let's see what he does. Going up, laying he does low. does exactly what I would have done. Just what you did. So Grabbed what two. you suggested. So 16 on 10 now becomes 16 on 12. Yep. Confirm. Yeah, 18. There. 18 on 10. Matt got. Oh, I'm two. sorry. 18 yeah. on 10. Yeah, I had it backwards in yep, my head. Yep. I was looking down here. I saw Gary Bearpaw took down Chip Brown, so he'll take on the winner of this match. Tyler Amos is up 8-4 on Doug Parker. Craig Irvin up 4-1 on T-Bone. Terry Dawson on court number two. Those guys continuing to battle it out. That could take all night right there. <laughs> Matt Gammon lays the blocker up there, and, boy, oh. that was just enough to get into Char or yep. Charlie. There you go Alan again, Alan's man. <laughs> well, it is Charlie's head. Yeah. This happens to be on Alan's body. That's right. <laughs> oh, nice airmail right there, man. Uh, Charlie, I started calling Charlie. Did, Alan. Almost. Well, I tell you what, if Ooh. the two of them ever end up on center court together, I'm just going to take trouble, the night right? off. I'm, I'm going to turn it over to, the, uh, to Dylan and his team because I'll never be able to do it. Oh, he's going to lay up yep. low. He goes, that's he exactly goes. what he does. Absolutely. One he, off the back there for Matt. Matt one point on that, yeah. though. I believe it's 706, Matt. Looks that way. Looks that way. So Matt's going to get up to that 19. We talk about that 1920 being a difficult number. We saw Bob Heil earlier up 20 to 1 over Johnny Thomas, and he, he puckered. Yeah, he just did. a little bit. He finished 21-9. But gave up at six behind, mm. you know, trying to get Johnny kick started. Yes, he did. And there's a bag that's going to force Allen to step out a little bit left, bring it in left to right. That's a nice bag yep. right there. Does what needs done. Tim Burnett said, nice shot, Allen. And I agree, mm -hmm. that was a very nice airmail that he threw. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. Yeah. Good to have you on, Tim. Oh, uh, oh what a shot. Gonna, those are going to get cleaned up yeah. here. Going to push through all that. Yep. And he's going to make Allen have to make one right here. And he does. And he does. Oh, that's, that's it. Oh, that's going to do it. Yeah. Oh, that's Allen's bag left up top. Absolutely. All I right. thought well, that was uh, 21 yeah. on 10. Allen Wingham falls to Matt Gammons. So